guys uh this is just a quick lazy ass video uh showing you how you can edit the textures of character models like i did um we're only going to be doing this for skylanders giants in this video but it should work for every wii skylanders game uh obviously because dolphin only plays wii and gamecube games so uh you're gonna first you're gonna go into graphic settings under options go to advanced right here um first you want to click load custom textures obviously because uh if you don't check that it's not gonna load the custom the custom textures uh go to texture dumping and you want to click enable and you want to dump base textures you can dump mip maps too uh but uh as far as i can tell there's like you don't you don't need to edit them uh so then you're gonna want to boot up the game and you're gonna want to load in your skylander uh because be, uh it only dumps the textures that have currently been loaded in. So if you load in your Skylander, it'll load in the textures for your Skylander and dump them. I uh, hope that makes sense. So once you've booted up the game and you got your Skylander in the game, uh, you want to open the user folder. And it should take you here. And from here, go to dump textures. Uh, these are just the files for the game opening. Uh, you're going to want to go here because that should have pretty much everything you need. Everything you could possibly desire. Uh, so then you're going to find the texture you want to edit. Uh, so I'm going to find Cinder here. Uh, there she is. These smaller versions are, uh, you, don't, you don't need to worry about them. You just need to uh, get the textures for the Skylander you want. Uh, for, the, for a lot of Skylanders, there are multiple pieces. Uh, for most of them, anyways. Or at least the dragon characters. Uh, there's going to be multiple pieces, so open up both... Uh, just, just open up all the textures for the Skylanders that you want to edit. Um, and then go to whatever paint program you have and uh, like load it in. Uh, I have paint.net, uh, but you could also you could also use um, just about whatever uh, Anything that has a selection layer, or just like a layers, because paint.net doesn't have a, have a selection layer, but you can like make a fake mask by just making another layer and uh, coating everywhere that you want to modify with black. And then, uh, you know. Uh, so once you're done with that, doing pretty much whatever you want to do with this texture, uh, Here's the Legend of Spyro accurate cinder I made. As you can see, it's a piece of shit, but it doesn't really matter because it's you, you don't really get to see the finer details on your Skylanders model. So it won't it won't look this bad on the model. So uh once you're done doing that, you're obviously going to save the texture. Don't save it to the don't save it to this file, this this folder. Don't save it to this folder. Uh, you don't want to replace the texture because it's not going to change anything. Just save it to downloads. And then you want to make a new folder. Uh, you're going to make a new folder and you want to name it the ID of your game. And you should be able to get the ID of your game just by right-clicking on it, clicking properties, and going to info. 
and the game ID is right here. Uh, you can ignore this bit. If you don't ignore it, it will not work. So uh, once you have that file created, uh, go back to your user folder. Well, first, uh, use this tool to uh, copy it. And then go to load, textures, and bring the folder here. And from there, just put whatever textures you want to replace in here. And when you open up the game again, don't mind that. When you open up the game again, if this ever boots up because it takes a while, It might stutter a little bit, don't worry about that. And then, when you go to play as your Skylander, the Skylander that you changed, look at that, it's now your custom texture. Whoa. And you can do whatever, and it's pretty cool. And, uh... I hope that was clear. I hope that was clear enough. Uh... Hopefully that should work.